I, I just like the fact more. that you are so real, not only with your fans, but just as a person. You're just so real. I mean, remember, Diana Ross was here one night, and, uh -huh. and we were talking about the whole eyelash thing. Oh, Diana. Remember? She yeah. did that to you, too, didn't she? I don't do that. <laughs> but wait a minute. What girlfriend said that I eat those lashes? Yeah. I'm scared of her. Well, let me tell you, and she's a nice lady. Yeah. I think she really likes me. I don't think she meant any harm. No, she just knows how open you are I, and how, oh, you know. But I wouldn't eat the last darling. <laughs> girlfriend. I eat potato salad and chicken. I don't eat lashes. <laughs> I don't do that. And let me, let me, let me clean up something else. Let me clean up something else. I was on Oprah. Uh, two weeks ago, uh -huh. with Gladys Knight and Dionne Work, my two, two friends in the name of love. Yeah. Uh, and I said something about prostitutes, about Lady Marmalade, the song that we played on the break that... Your band, they're kicking, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, children, keep on playing. Anyway, <laughs> I said on Oprah's show that I exploited hookers. I didn't mean exploit. I said the wrong word. Just for those who were watching that day, I was nervous and I was saying the wrong words. I didn't mean exploit. I meant something else. But anyway, I'm cleaning it up. I cleaned it up. Thank you, Lord. And Diana, I don't eat lashes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she was just joking. Well, I know. I eat food. But, but am I lying? Didn't you take your eyes off? I take those again? things off and give them to the audience because if they come down on my face and sit here, it looks like a big old black mole or something. So <laughs> you take it off and you give it to the audience. That way they can have a part of Patty. And <laughs> you're like the boy with the sock and the eyelash. What else do I give out? Nothing else. Diana Ross. Oh, that little heifer would come in there and see what we're wearing. And they would go out and find the same outfit. I think we got them from Woolworths. I don't know where we got these stretch gold lame suits. But before we went out, for some reason, we were going on after the Supremes, which didn't make sense to me because they were the big stars. But we went on after them, and of course, we only had that one gold outfit. And they had worn theirs already, so it looked like we were copying off of them. I wanted to pimp slap her. You know, because it was like, why would you go out in something that you know we, we're going to wear, and that's the only outfit we have? I wanted to beat her up. I love your take on other ladies of music, mm -hmm. and I love the world that you live in. So I want to play a game with you just called Diva Word Association. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to give you a diva, and you just say the first thing that pops in your mind. It can be anything. It can be all positive. It doesn't have to. You're oh. looking at me like, oh, no. But, like, you just say whatever you want. Like, this I is will. Not, okay. I will. All right. Okay. Okay, you ready to play? Yes. Okay. Because, yeah. I, I mean. I'm yeah. ready. Okay. Diana Ross. She's the top. I mean, no, no, no. She's a legend in her own time, not in her own mind. Right. She started it. I mean, her and the girl group. You, there's a great story in your book. Don't but we did our thing together. No, I mean, when, 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 and it's just a cute story, when the, um, it was true. the Bluebells were on the bill with the Supremes, and Diana yep. kept checking out your dresses and then copying them. And then you would go on after the Supremes. And it looked and like we were would... copycats. Right. And you yes. gave it to Diana at one point. You I sat her to, down. And... I had to beat her up a little bit. Right. But we ended up being the best buddies. It's like, we were going through young girl stuff then. Right. Like, you know, back in the day. But now we're grown women. And we know that she did what she had to do at that time. Was there a famous rift between you and Miss Ross? I don't know why. Because but of that? Because of uh, on stage singing? Is that a no, rumor or is it, that true or what? Some what? of it is like we were at the Apollo together. Okay. And so is that an urban myth that, or what is that? No, let me tell you the truth. And when we finally got back together was at the Legends Ball oh, at your house. At my house. Mm hmm. Things for years, it would be the Supremes are fabulous and they're the best. Uh, and we were Patti LaBelle and the Bluebells. And we were performing here mm -hmm. on stage. Mm -hmm. And we wore these gold and made beautiful suits. Mm -hmm. And the Supremes came on right after us. We had two songs. They had about three or four with the same gold and made. They went to Woolworths or wherever we went and bought those suckers <laughs> and bought the same freaking outfit. So it was always an in and out thing. I would hear things that Diana might have said about me, and she probably didn't. You know how people keep stuff going? I know. And I said, I'm not going to let that be until one day something really laid on my, my heart. And I said, maybe she doesn't really like me. And I just, we went years without seeing each other, talking on the phone or anything. Because the reason for that was when I went to your house and Diana was there. For the Legends Ball. Yes, we mm -hmm. sat at the luncheon at the same table. I said, in all these years, people are starting 
acts around us, mm -hmm. making you think that it, the costumes and all that, so be it. The Cindy Bird song, so be it. Mm -hmm. But I never wanted a riff with her because I love her talent. Mm -hmm. She's one of the best out there. And so when we exchanged phone numbers and started talking to each other after the Legends Ball. I had no idea. And, oh, it was not cute. I had no but idea. But I never really knew. I would not have sat you at the same table had I known I'm that. I'm glad you did. I did not because know Because it was Mariah, Mary J, uh, and then Diana. And I looked up and said, oh, you look beautiful. And she said, oh, you do too. And we're buddies now. Wow. The thing is, it all ended well. But yeah, there was a big mess about people thinking that she didn't like me and I didn't like her. Mm -hmm. I love her.